Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm David Rooney, publisher of So Current, and welcome to In Conversation, our periodic discussion of all things political. And uh, my guest today is Doug Klovchuk, who is the BC Liberal candidate for Kootenai Columbia. Thanks well, for having me back. It's great to be back in Revelstoke. Well, again. Glad again. Well, you like it. Again, indeed. You've been here twice in one week. Yeah, we have solo last Wednesday and this Wednesday. That's so right. Thrilled to be back. And, and the traffic right. was great on the highway. <laughs> Now, last week you were here with uh, with the Premier Christy Clark, and well, today you're you're here with Forestry Minister Steve Thompson. Yeah, we uh, we just did a uh, tour of the mill again with uh, with the minister, and and uh, sat through a presentation uh, from Downey about their operation and their overall operation and what it looks like and some of the challenges and opportunities and where some of the solutions might come from government. So it was very informative, very interesting. Mm. Yeah, really excited to be there. Now, last week when you were here, you actually went out to the Premier, went, came with you and did a little door knocking interview. Are you going to be doing some more door knocking today? Or? Not today. We've got a big, pretty big, busy schedule. I'm going to be doing a tour this afternoon uh, of, uh, of a tourism site, and then we've got a dinner tonight and a reception. So there won't be any door knocking, but I'll be back to be door knocking. <laughs> There'll be lots of door knocking going on between now and the next nine months. It's like having a baby. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's how it's. Being busy is one thing, uh, being effective is another. It is. So you've got a, you've got a lot on your plate. But it's going to be uh, it's going to be an interesting campaign. I mean, Norm Macdonald is not going to be there. So if anything, you have an opportunity. Well, you know, Norm's not going to be there. And, and, I, and I do want to take this opportunity to, to, to thank Norm for his service. Mm -hmm. um, anybody who commits to 12 years of public uh, life is, uh, needs to be congratulated. But I think what's really important is that uh, it, uh, it's what we do. It's about the person. And I've been out uh, working really hard already uh, throughout the ride. Yeah. David, I haven't stopped in the last three years. So we just doing? Yeah. Oh, the train. Yeah. There. Okay, it's gone now. Yeah, the, the train. Yeah. So yeah, we haven't stopped for the last three years. I've been working on lots of different files and helping people throughout the ride. So um, what we're hearing at the doors with Christy last uh, last week has been been very positive. I've been door knocking in Kimberley already, and we've been doing a lot of work throughout the uh, the throughout the riding. So. Yeah, we're really excited about our chances. Good. Well, door knocking is a key uh, is the key to a successful campaign, and in fact, that's one of the reasons that Norm won in two thousand five. He started door knocking very early, very very early. Well, <coughs> excuse me. I think what people what people appreciate, and this is what I've heard at the doors, when people see you and know who you are and they've met you. It, when you, it's easy to say it's about the person, but when you get to meet the person and actually have a conversation, then then they know who you are. It's just not some fleeting glimpse of some guy on a, on a glossy card, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I like door knocking. A lot of people don't, but I really enjoy it, and, and uh, we tend to do a lot more of it. Good. What kind of concerns are you hearing at the door from uh, constituents? You know, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a variety of different things from, I mean, our riding's a big one, all the way from Kimberley down here to Revelstoke, and including the field. But, uh, you know, uh, Similarities, uh, just driving the Trans-Canada Highway, that's still a big issue. But the good news is that the twinning of uh, the Trans-Canada through the Ohor Park and down the Kicking Horse towards Golden, it's happening and, and uh, it, that's really exciting. Healthcare is, is a big thing still. People are talking about healthcare. They want to make sure that we uh, maintain and sustain the healthcare we have. Just uh, about a month ago, we just announced, and this is a big deal for the folks down on our end of, uh, of the riding, um, uh, 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 an MRI, a permanent MRI is going into the Cranbrook General Hospital. So that is a huge uh, thing for us. Uh, and that will serve as golden, obviously, as well. So healthcare is, uh, healthcare is a big one. There's lots of different uh, uh, related and unrelated issues. Uh, I still hear a lot about predator control from our, uh, from our ranching community, about wolves and bears and cougars. Uh, you know, my neighbor lost uh, 22 calves this past season's predators. So it's, it's a big issue. Uh, the 20 horsepower uh, issue on the, uh, on the Columbia River uh, is, is, is something we're talking about. The Kicking Horse uh, River rafting issue, I've been working on that file. Um, the trail from uh, um, Fairmont Hot Springs up to Invermere and vice versa uh, through the Green Rails Trails Alliance. I've been working with uh, the Minister of Agriculture on, on some ALR issues on that. So there's, there's multitudes of issues out there, David, that I'm, I'm working on actively. <laughs> You've got your hands full and you're not even an MLA yet. Well, the Premier keeps telling me I'm the most uh, longest uh, unelected MLA in the province uh, in, in its history, but I'm working hard to, to become that MLA and elected MLA, and, 
And uh, I think what we've been able to do over the last three years is to prove that we can do something. And I've been doing that, and when I say I, it's going to help a lot of people and, and listening to people. Yeah. And I think one of the, the things that I'm hearing is that when you're the MLA, uh, for any riding, it doesn't matter where you are, when you're back in your riding, you represent everybody. And believe it or not, David, there's going to be a few folks in this riding in the next election on May 9th that don't vote for them. I, I know that. I know there's going to be a couple. But uh, for those people that don't, and when I become the MLA, they're going to be welcomed in my office and their issues are going to be my issues. So when you're the MLA, you've got to be focused on, on all people. Just because they didn't vote for you, you still represent them. Well, that's a good observation and it's certainly a true one. Yeah, and, and I'm hearing that from people. Good. I'm hearing that from people. I helped some folks with a, uh, a file down in Cherry Creek Falls just outside of Kimberly. And, and uh, a mine operation was going to come in and, and start a mine operation in this very beautiful falls. And this community got together and I got involved. And long story short, it's a regional park now. And when I was there to help celebrate the opening and, and spoke at it, I, I said, you know, a lot of you folks didn't vote for me. It didn't matter. It was just the right idea. A lot of folks came up to me after that and said, well, we didn't vote for you, Doug. But we are this time. Oh, good. And, uh, so uh, oh, nice, nice. it's about what you do, not what you say. Hmm. How hard you work. Now it looks as though you're going to be facing a, an NDP candidate from Inverary, no matter who it is, it's going to be from Inverary. Yeah, it would say you seem that way. Yeah, it would, uh, they're going through a nomination race now, right now. And from what I understand, uh, their nomination process is now going to take till October the 15th. So uh, I wish them well. I don't wish them success, but I wish them well. And um, whoever it'll be, it'll be. I mean, we're, we're fighting our own campaign and working on what we need to work on, and, and they'll do the same. Good. Now you mentioned here that you're you're going out to see a tourism development. What uh, it's the uh, um, Realmstoke Mountain Tours, or the where they're going to have the zip line and everything like that. I think it's a fascinating idea. Not too sure how uh, financially viable it might be, but uh, from what I've seen, it looks really good. And what I really love about Realmstoke is that you've got a lot of visionary people here, and they're always looking for ways to increase the numbers of people that come here to visit and. The, the new roller coaster. I want to try that, David. You and I need to go and do I've that. Been on. Oh, I need to do that then. But uh, you know, you're finding different ways to attract people to your town, and that's what I find exciting about Revelstoke. You're always looking for something new to do and grow your town and keep people working and, and helping their families. And so yeah, I, I enjoy being here. Good. Glad you like it. Yeah, it's good. We'll see some more of you. Oh, you're gonna see a lot of me. <laughs> you're gonna see a lot of me, David. I'm driving over the pass this morning and listening to some songs and, and thinking, I'm, I'm going back to Revelstoke and what a great place to be going back to. And You know, I tell you what, the, the, uh, the uh, reception that we're getting here is really positive and I just want to thank the people from Revelstoke for making my wife and I feel so welcome when we come here because it's important and it's special to us. Oh, good. Yeah. So what else you got going today? Well, I've got a meeting with, uh, with the uh, Lands Minister uh, at 3 o'clock with one of the constituents over, over an issue that, uh, that we're going to hopefully uh, be able to find some solutions to. There's a bit of a dinner tonight and then there's another reception, much like we had with the Premier here last week. Uh, probably won't be as big, but there's a reception tonight. So looking forward to meeting some new people and, uh, and, and talking a little bit of th about the things that are going on in Rumstoke. Good. Doug, thank you very much. Thank you very much, David. It's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this episode of In Conversation. And uh, there will be information on how to contact Doug uh, associated with the story that I'll write along with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, David, very much. Pleasure.